don't work at all, okay? What you have to do, you have to get away from your guy, your opponent, when you have in his guard. Don't try to sweep him, turn him over. He's gonna punch your face. Don't stay with the close guard. Never stay with the close guard. Close guard is just to hold your opponent and rest a little bit, and then you have to, you know, push him away and get away from him, okay? So it's gonna be uh, now a very uh, important situation here because a lot of fighters, they try to fight on the ground doing guard. They, they, they don't know how to do it because most of them, don't, they don't fight jiu-jitsu for a long time. They, they try to do the guard and they, they, they messed up bad. Now, we are, he's in my guard, okay? Here, it's the same thing that I, uh, to be fighting is standing up. Always, to fight in standing up is techniques. Is, is, uh, this. The way of fighting is quite similar to fighting the ground, okay? So what I'm trying to say is I can't be, I can be here because he can reach me now. He can punch my face, okay? So he must be there or wherever, in Brazil or wherever, okay? Oh, or he must be here. You see, I hold this arm here and I hold his head, get my ear here and get his arm here to avoid his punch. And I can work here sometimes. It won't make any damage to him, but it, it, you bother him a little bit. So that, that's what I want, all right? And it, it, it's gonna make easier for me to get up and, and reverse the situation. From another angle, I can, you see, for you people see, I, I, I can be here, all right, punching here, protecting. I can always change it there or change it to the other, other place, you know, here, do this here. And I can always use my heels in his legs. Not here. Here won't do any damage because the angle here to hit is not so hard, all right, so big. So I prefer rather hit him, put him away. I have to put him away, and right away I put this foot in his rib, and this shin in his ribs, okay? Now he won't be able to reach me from here, okay? I will be here defending myself, okay? So this is the main situation, the most important thing that you have to put in your mind. You can be in the middle, all right? Here he's away. Yes, he can do a lot of things here, I can do a lot of things too, but we, we're gonna, gonna go through it uh, now, from now on, all right? Let's do it again, in a, uh, in a, in a fast, people has done it, okay? Try to pass my gut, oh, yeah. He's not dummy. If he does it, I'm gonna get his, in a, I'm gonna get him in a triangle. All right? Nobody does that. Nobody. Even my mother, he, she wouldn't do this. All right? This, this a stupid person would do this. All right? Gonna, he's, he's gonna be dead. All right? Another thing, here, I won't, I won't be able to get his arm here. He, 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 he's, when he's here, he's gonna be punching my face. He's gonna be here and here. I won't have time to get his arms. I won't have time to get the triangle. So, to finish a guy here is going to be very hard in this situation. So let's show. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I get his arm. I can't miss it. This is a very dangerous move. It, you can win the fight, but you can lose the. F you can get a good punch too if you don't get it. All right. So you have to be very quick. Very key. Again, again, I'm here. He's trying to get space. He's trying to get space. You see, he's trying to get space. Let's do the same situation. A little bit slower, slower for us to, to pick up some details, all right? Here. So I was here with him. He tried to make some space. Now let's do it very slow. Try to do some space, putting his hand in my, my, my neck. That's it, in my, in, my, in my throat here, to open my space. I don't let him go easily now, because I know that I want his arm. 
So what I do, I I'm already put this food in his, in his rib, all right? For what? For if I don't get the arm, I'm gonna put him away. All right? So I'm here. Another thing, this is gonna help me to escape my ribs in order to get his arm, all right? And this time he's, he, he's gonna try to punch me with his arm here, all right? He try to punch me. Yeah, he's gonna try to be very hard. So what I, what I do, I just bring there, this way, there, there. This leg stretch here helps me a lot because he, I take his base away. He's, he has no base anymore here. Let's do it again in another point of view, right? In another side. I will start. Okay, go. Let's do it again in another side, all right? He's here. He was punching me there. Yeah, he was punching me. Okay, I got his arm, all right? He can grab his trunks. He can grab my trunks. Doesn't matter. Grab his trunks. Come on. Yeah. So my thumb's outside. Hope so I have to grab. You see here, this hook here is gonna very is gonna be very important. I stretch my leg, get away, and then I got him. All right. Let's show the detail here. Very important detail here. What can happen here? I've, I've done some situations that uh, he wasn't so far away from me. All right. Now he's gonna be standing up, and I'm trying to do here. I don't wanna hit him. I, you, I, 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 what I want, I wanna reverse the game. I wanna be over him. All right, so what I do here is simple. I'm here, and I'm gonna just, just give him a little punch, kick here. Just give him a little kick here, all right, in the stomach. Get this side, get this side, all right? I'm gonna give him a little kick here, and then I'm gonna sit down. Look the movement, look the movement. I was here, he was trying to hit me, yeah, yeah. I sit down, this leg is gonna turn, I'm gonna put my knee in the ground, like here. My hand is here. Okay. All right, I'm here. If I try to sweep my guy, if I try to turn him over here in the close guard, or, or it's gonna be very hard. The time to do it is the time I, I, I showed you before. So we are here, I'm gonna pull him away. He's gonna get up. Come on, get up, yeah. I cross this leg there. Very important this. I cross his leg. And he's if he tries to, to hit me, I hit him back. Here is not a good position to hit him. I don't want to really hit him. I just want to turn the game. I just want to go over him. I just want to put him down and go over him, all right? So I, if I'm here, OK, I sit in his, in his feet, grab his heel. I've got just a little kick here, take the end. You have to end like this. All right, to break his knee, otherwise he won't fall down. Like I said before, we have, we must have different attacks uh, combined, you know, vari variations. All right. So what we can, what I can do here, also, he got up, he got up. As soon as he got up, I get his heel and put, stick my leg there. All right. And I, I, I'm working with him here, okay? Maybe he, he takes this leg out, takes this leg out. Yeah, he took this leg out, right? Go back and get it, and get it again. And he takes the leg out. When he takes the leg out, he's, he's waiting to me to do the same thing. Sit in his foot and put my leg there. So what, what, what happened? Here I can also do this, get up. I couldn't go and go, and go back, try to kick here, all right? So he took, he took his leg out. Yeah, I went here, I, and I couldn't, I couldn't reach there. You know, I couldn't reach. You get this way. 
Yeah, you see. I couldn't reach there, you see, to do, get back a little bit, yeah, to do this movement, to this whip, okay? He put, he, he opened his leg, I couldn't get it, okay, no problem. I pass my leg here, and most important thing, turn, turn this way, turn this way, turn, turn, turn. Most important thing, this leg goes here. He, he skipped this leg, the other leg, so go this way, please. Yeah, so I pass the leg here, and then I put the other one here. Now, what's gonna happen is, he is, if I don't make pressure on this leg, he's gonna go away. So as soon as I get this leg here, this one here, when I put this one, I don't stop, I stretch it and close my triangle. All right, I stretch this leg and close my triangle, get the ankle, his foot right under my arm, in my armpit, and I get him here and look this way. Now, we are gonna try to explain how to escape from a, uh, a bad uh, situation that I may get in, okay? It's very important to, to, to know that if in a no rules fight, I, somebody gets in the mount position on me, somebody gets my back, it's because of two reasons, all right? First reason, he's much better than me. Okay, technically. And the second reason, I got tired. So it's very hard to get those positions in, in a fight and, 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 and you don't lose the fight, okay? So you have to, what I'm trying to say is, is that if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show you some ways to escape from these positions, all right? Uh, but those ways to escape, for sure you're gonna get some, you're gonna get hurt a little bit. I mean, a punch and uh, whatever. A lot of people has, has been showing you how to escape, but uh, they're too nice in my point of view. It's, it doesn't happen in the real situation, all right? If you get the mount position, you're gonna be hurt. If somebody gets your back, you're gonna be hurt. The only, th the only thing that you can do is don't be too much hurt. Now, he got, he got me in the mount position, all right? So, uh, from this situation here, I'm really on danger, okay? So I've seen some escapes from here. Uh, they are good, but I realize, in my point of view, that those escapes, in a real situation, they won't work very much. They won't work properly. Because, first of all, this guy here, who's got my mount position, he's mounted on me, he's probably very good. And I'm gonna be very tired being here, all right? So he got here, I'm tired, he's better than me. I can't just, just try to escape my ribs here, you know, here. He's gonna punch my face one, two, three, four times, all right? He's gonna close his legs down there, all right, down there, and he's gonna punch me, oh, you know? I may get out, but five, four, Good punches, good punch, 100% punch is gonna get in my face. So I won't, I won't survive for long in the fight, okay? Another thing a lot of people do is try to grab this arm here and, let, let me try, yeah, and roll here, okay? It works, but it wo it's not gonna work with him because as I told you before, he's, he's mounted me, so he's very good. I'm tired. He mounted on me, so he won't allow me to do it. He's gonna grab my head, you know. When I do it, yeah, he's gonna take his hand out. He's gonna take, oh, he's he just gonna stick his hand in the ground, so I won't have power to do it. I won't, I won't, I just, what I'm gonna have, what I'm doing now here, he's just getting more and more tired. Here, when he's trying to do this, to allow him to punch me, okay, is the, the right time. So what I'm gonna do, he's trying to get up. Yeah, when he got up, I let him go, come with my both hands inside his stomach, maybe grab his trunks, or just, you know, pull him back. Pull him back, making a bridge and putting my knee inside. Okay, this. From here, I'm gonna do guard or whatever, okay? 
but I'm not in a so bad situation right now. All right, so let's do it a little bit harder now. Okay, he's gonna try to punch me. He's gonna try to punch me. See, get back a little bit. I lost the time. Yeah, get up, get up. Yeah, now he's gonna make a little pressure to come up, and I'm gonna let him go suddenly. And then he's gonna come up a little bit, come up a little bit, and I'm gonna put both hands inside his trunks here or just here, and I'm gonna make a bridge and put my knee inside his legs. From now on, I'm, he is in my guard, okay? Here, my knee here, all right, I'll be, he isn't gonna be in my guard now, all right? Let's do it again. Now, he's gonna make, he's gonna do a little, a little bit harder. Oh, just go hard, all right? Try to punch me now. Right. Yeah. That's what I want. He may have got me once, maybe twice, but hold those, the punch that he's gonna give to me won't be very strong, it won't be strong enough because he's gonna be falling back. He's gonna be out of his balance, all right? And I'm gonna put him, him, him in my guard. Once again. Head back a little bit, please. Okay, here, here we are. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now, we are in a very, very uh, difficult situation here, right? Like the mount position, the back, the back position is, is, is very dangerous, all right? So what's, what's gonna happen? Here, okay, if he gets me in the choke, gets in the choke, the only way out from here is to tap, oh, to have a gun and shot his head here, all right? There is no way out. Here, if you got here, it's because you were tired, or again, he's a much better fighter than me, okay? So, I can allow him to get in this situation, all right? I can allow him to get there, all right? But if he gets my back, as soon as he does this, I have to protect, okay? Protect my neck, putting both hands. Let's say that I'm facing this way, okay? I'm facing this way, okay? I have to look this way, and I have to change my ribs the opposite way, you know? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna bridge, and I'm gonna try to sit in his knee here. I'm gonna try to sit in his knee here, all right? I'm gonna do this. You see, sit in his knee. Uh, most of the times, he, he, he's a man who has a lot of flexibility, so his legs, his legs gonna be stuck in this, in this part of, uh, in my leg here. Okay, he's gonna, yeah, when I, I escape here, he, his leg is gonna be here, okay? So I'm facing this way, I'm escaping this way, making the bridge, and, and what's going on here, all right? That's it, spread your way, spread the ground. All right, so I'm here, he's going, he's going to go to, to, to the knee on the stomach, okay? We're gonna do very, very light now, very slowly, all right? So he's going to go, he's gonna put his hand there, he's gonna make a push up, and he's gonna put the knee, and then he's gonna start, start to punch, okay? That's what's gonna happen, okay? Another, uh, once again, I have to, I have to, once again, I have to, to, to tell you that uh, it exists the thing called timing, all right? The right timing is, when he tries, another step is do the scissor with my leg, okay? I'm gonna escape my ribs, grab his leg, and do the scissor, all right? Here, I'm here. Okay, grab his leg here. And then, once I'm here, once I'm here, I have to use my hands here, all right? Here, over here, okay? Once I'm here, he can punch me, but he's gonna punch my head, all right? What can happen? He can break his, his hands, but, and, and his punches are not gonna be very effective. 
So what he, he's gonna he, and if he try to punch me, it's gonna be easy timing, all right? The right timing. The right timing is very, very important. So he's gonna put the knee in the stomach. As soon as he, he get there, you see, I'm already loaded my gun. My gun is my legs. My gun is, I loaded my gun, and now I'm gonna shoot. How? I'm gonna escape my ribs and do the scissor here. I stick this hand in the ground, okay? I'm gonna stick his hand in the ground just to get up. And then, if he punches me, it's gonna be easier for me. Yeah, it's gonna be easier because he's gonna lose his balance. I'm gonna put my hook here, and I'm gonna put you down, him down, like he did, okay? If he starts to punch me, I'm gonna put my hook. Yeah, protecting my head, always protecting my head, and I go for, you know, give, I give the back of my head for him to punch. in his jaw there, but uh, what courage from this man to get in there with Mario Sperry and have a second go at it. He's in a lot of pain, obviously. From, there was a word from backstage. And Mario just going to work there on him. He knew that he took a, he knew that he took a beating. There, there's the mistake that Neil made, leaving that leg out for Mario just to grab. Mark the hammer, he took some punishment down on the floor. Well, he took it to the right-hand side of his, of his face there. And then you see Mario changing, going to the left, which is where the, is the break, and he's tapped out straight away. He's just felt it on that uh, on that fracture, and he's just tapped out. He didn't want any more. say Michael it, a fighter such as Mario is very he's gonna always be hard to beat he's always gonna be very hard to beat and uh, I think Chris will only learn from this experience and come back a better man for it well in that mount position there Mario Sperry had tremendous leverage and he was able to rain down that left hand onto the side of the temple there of uh, Chris Hazeman and eventually those blows just took their toll on the Aussie and he had to submit he had to get out of there uh, just for his own survival well, certainly that's right Michael he, Mario wasn't getting a clean shot there, he's actually tried to go for the thumb there, which is uh, a highly illegal technique, but uh, he's gone back to work with his, with his handiwork. He couldn't get a good clean shot to the side of in tight, but uh, unfortunately he didn't account for, for Mario's arms, just going to work in the body, as we're seeing now, uh, then he'll, he'll try and negate that one. Mario will just go back upstairs, there you go, straight back up to the head. So basically whatever Chris was doing, Mario had an answer for and uh, ultimately that's, that's the way a champion fights. He's always got something he can, he can use to, uh, to overcome an, uh, an opponent. Well, Mario Sperry, he's really the thinking man's fighter. Down there on the floor, it's a game of chess, it's a game of strategy.